Hey YouTube, in this video I'm going to show you how to use Strava Live segments on your Garmin Edge Bud computer. First, you'll need a Strava Premium account. You'll also need a Garmin Connect account, and you'll need to register your device with Garmin Connect. You'll also need to download Garmin Express, which is used to sync your device with your computer. So the first thing you need to do is connect your Strava and Garmin accounts together. To do this, up in the upper right hand side you're going to, where your profile is, you're going to click on Settings. Then you're going to go down to the Social Connections and click Connect to Garmin. You're going to say Authorize the App. And then you're going to log in with your Garmin username and password. Your Garmin Connect username and password. Now these two accounts are connected together. The next thing you need to do is star or favorite some Strava segments. To do that you go to Dashboard My Segments. Up in, and I have a bunch starred. You can also just use the popular segments in your area where you ride. Strava somehow figures that out, but if you don't have any starred segments, you can go to your activities and click on a recent activity and go down and look at the different segments that you rode and you can click off the ones that you would like to include as starred segments on your Garmin device so that when you go past them, I guess, I haven't tried this yet, your device will alert you that you've started a segment and will tell you how you're doing. The next thing you need to do is tell Garmin Connect to use Strava segments instead of Garmin segments. So on your Garmin Connect dashboard you should have a little box called segments and there's a little gear thing to the right side of it and if you click on that you're going to choose use Strava segments. And then you're going to say get started and that should have worked. It worked the last time I did this. Let me hit refresh on this page. Oh, it did work. I don't know what was wrong with that, but now these are my Strava segments. So that all looks good. Now the last thing you need to do is sync your segments with your Garmin device. To do this, up in the upper left hand side there's a little two-way arrow kind of thing and you're going to say, uh, see how it says Strava Live Segments? You're going to send Click on um, Send Now, that blue button. And it's going to open Garmin Express. And of course, we got a new version of Garmin Express, but I don't want to install it now. I'm going to go to the Edge 10. And of course, it has new items ready to install. So looks like I have to install them. I don't know if that synced the segments or just updated the device. So I'm going to click sync again and now it should be sending the segments to my Garmin Edge A10. Okay so that's done. I got some kind of an error which I think I'll ignore. Let's go take a look at the A10 and see if I have segments downloaded to it. So the last step is to verify the segments were loaded and enable them on your Garmin device. Okay, the last step is to enable the segments on your Garmin device. So you click on that little folder icon, you click on Strava Live Segments, and go down, I've already enabled them, but you would go here and say Enable All, and then click the Yes, and then all these segments should be enabled. I'm going to go outside and go to where one of these segments are and just walk it to get a feel for how this works. So I went out into the woods to try to use this on some mountain biking trails and it was an absolute disaster. We have a very dense trail network and several trails, sometimes three trails or more, will start all at the same location and it would get confused and choose one of them and it wouldn't be the one that I was doing. In fact, it would be the one that I just came from instead of the one that I was going towards. So I think you really need to favorite only a few segments and make sure they're not close to each other in order to get this to work very well. The map does show where the segments seem to start and end and you can see on the map right there that two segments start real close to each other. So I tried stopping the one that it thought I was on and then I 
tried to uh, walk the one that I really wanted to do and it still wouldn't pick it up. So the next thing I tried was I went into the segments and disabled all of the segments except for the one segment that I wanted to actually walk on and it still wouldn't work. So I don't know if there was a problem with being in the woods or whatever but my next thought was I'll go to these segments and since I said download the popular segments I'll go enable them all and I'll go find a road bike segment and when I looked at the various segments that were available none of them were road bike segments I believe what it did when I chose the popular segments was I think it chose things that I ride frequently not what other people ride frequently that's my guess anyway so now that I know how these segments work or conflict with each other, what I think I'm going to do is turn off popular segments and only choose the ones that I really care about. Now, turn to trail climb is something I do a lot. Honey bear down is something I do a lot. What I want to do now that I've done that is find a segment near my house on the roads. Have at it. This will be a good one. This is a short segment. It's a very steep climb, 11% grade. So I am going to star this segment. I'm going to star that segment. Then I'm going to go back to Garmin Connect and sync. You don't even need to go to Garmin Connect. You can just go to Garmin Express and say sync. Okay, so now I'll go out and ride that segment and see what it displays on my screen. Okay, I'm going to go for a ride, and before I do, I want to see if I did the Strava segments right, and there it is, have it, have at it, showing up. And if I go for a ride, I'll change to my oh, bicycle and hit start and let's see what happens so when i got to be one tenth of a mile away from the segment start the computer beeped and said your segment begins in 0.1 miles then as i got real close to the start of the segment counted down to 56 47 feet 30 something feet and then said go and uh, pretty much immediately i started to get behind now Something very strange is up at the top of the screen I see the name Robert Aubin. Now I have no idea why he is showing up. So if I go to the Strava segment and go down to the bottom, my coin has the fastest time of 52 seconds. Robert Aubin is 12th for the time of 124. I have no idea why he's showing up on my screen. He did this in 2015. He's definitely not the most recent person to ride this segment. I have no clue why he is showing up. There's my fastest time, 146. And ideally, because I'm not a very fast rider, I would like this to show me how far behind my PR I am, but I believe it shows me how far behind my coin's fastest time I am. So I stopped in the middle of the segment, and you see these little arrows? I pressed on one of them and I could see the KOM was 52 seconds, that's what my coin had. Then I pressed on one of those arrows again, and it shows me my PR, 146. So, I have no idea what Robert Alwyn is doing in there, but I wish that time behind would show me how far I am behind my PR. And unfortunately, as I switch, from person to person, it just counts up. And it doesn't seem to change based on which person I'm looking at. Which would be nice if it did. So as I was approaching the end of the segment, it started counting down 41 feet, 39 feet, etc. And then when I hit the very end, it said segment complete. So that's nice knowing exactly when the segment ends. But if you look at this time, it shows that I was 3 minutes and 25 seconds behind, I'm not sure what. If I take the 52 seconds 
and add that to 325, I get a total of 417, but it said my finish time was 411. If I use Robert's time or my PR, it's even higher. So I'm not sure what, why that's different, but it's not very accurate. If I go to, back to Strava and look at my time for the day, let's see what that was. I'm going to click on my results, and here's today's time. It was 4.12, so it was pretty close to what they said it was. They said it was 4.11, but it doesn't make much sense with the amount of time I, it said I was behind Mike. So there you have it. That's Strava Live Segments on a Garmin device. Not as accurate as I would have expected. And very disappointing you don't get to see your own PR. At least I couldn't find a way to see my own PR and how far behind or ahead of my own PR I am. Because I'll never get a KOM. It's useless knowing how far I am behind the KOM person. Anyway, thanks for watching.